Um, last Thursday, I got an email from you um, that was addressed to the board and um, town manager and, and assistant manager. And it had an attachment, and sometimes I'm not the best person with a computer. I tried the attachment, and I couldn't open it. So uh, I did eventually get help because I couldn't read it. Um, and your email said, uh, I have members of the board, I have communicated to the chairman of the Municipal Budget Committee my concerns regarding a conflict of interest that exists on the part of two Budget Committee members. The details of these concerns are contained in a memo to the chairman, which I have attached. And I, I did, and Fred has given us a, a copy here. Okay. Um, I did stop by to talk with Fred this morning because I was a little concerned. And uh, I asked him if you, as, uh, as chief of the department, had consulted with him or with um, town council before you put the memo out. The memo is to the chairman of the budget committee, and it references two individuals um, who currently serve uh, as elected uh, members of the budget committee. Um, I can foresee potentially, uh, possibly, a lawsuit coming out of this, and I wondered if it might not have been um, more prudent to consult with Mr. Welch, because he said he, he did not. No, I, I did not you. consult with uh, Mr. Welch, and the information provided here mm -hmm. is all public information. So I'm well, not it sure. is now. No, it was, it was <laughs> when somebody is arrested, that is public information. The only thing I've offered here is information regarding the arrest of Mr. Lapham for DWI yeah. and also the arrest of uh, Mr. Warburton's daughter for a, an assault, which is public information. Any attempt to withhold that would be a violation of the law. That could get you a lawsuit. So if somebody is making noise about the lawsuit, by all means, all I did was provide information to the public and I think really the concern here ought to be why these folks didn't bring it up themselves. Why did it take me writing a letter to the chairman to bring a absolute conflict of interest to their attention? That shouldn't have taken me doing that. Okay. Well, I, well, I was rather concerned, and I, I'm not an expert. I don't read the newspapers with all of the mm -hmm. information and so forth. So this was, uh, this was Again, new. Again, I, I want to make sure we're clear. New the information I've provided here, there is an, an ounce, there isn't a word of anything that's confidential that is all public information that, in my opinion, those two individuals should have brought to the attention of the Budget Committee before they started deliberating any budget I presented or take any vote. And, it, and there could be legal consequences. If it continues, there is a potential that yeah. there's going to be something in the Superior Court and it won't be a lawsuit. Because I was uh, I was concerned about that because that hit me I didn't I wasn't aware at all of any any uh, thing that you mentioned in your memo. Could I say something? Yeah, sure. Um, I think what the chief did was he just put it in memo form for as an FYI to the board of selectmen and to mm -hmm. the chairman of the budget committee, like mm -hmm. he said. Technically, he didn't even have to do that. It was enough public information. I did know about it even before I saw it in. Mm -hmm the write-ups and the uh, union lead, uh, the Seacoast Online this weekend. So mm -hmm. I think that he was just sort of doing us a favor to make sure that we exactly had the information and what was going on. Well, so, I, I thank thought you, I Chief. Would, would have been a little more comfortable had it been run by town council. and, and the, yeah. I was fully confident that what I was doing was appropriate. Okay. It wasn't any issue that I have any concern about. Is any Anybody can sue anybody for anything that we're oh, in a litigious I, society. It's whether, whether the lawsuit can be sustained. Hmm. If something was sustained because I told the truth, then I guess we really have a bigger problem than the budget committee issues, don't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I just want to make sure because I was a little concerned once I actually mm -hmm. got to read the text um, that Fred was kind enough to, to provide us. Uh, would it be appropriate then, just because the folks at home aren't hearing this or know we're talking about a memo, that maybe it should be read? I think that's a good idea. Number two. Okay. okay. Uh, it's dated November 15th, 2018, to Timothy Jones, Chairman, Hampton right. Municipal that's Budget good. Committee. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I would like to bring to your attention concerns I have regarding two members of the Municipal Budget Committee and their participation in the discussion of potential vote on the budgets that I oversee as Chief of Police. Q 
Community members Brian Lapham and Brian Warburton have participated in the discussions regarding the four budgets that I presented to the committee on November 8th, 2018. The four budgets I refer to are the Hampton Police Department budget, animal control budget, emergency management budget, and the parking lot enforcement budget. Mr. Lapham and Mr. Warburton have what I considered conflicts of interest and in my opinion should recuse themselves from any further participation in the process of these four budgets. On July 23rd, 2018, Mr. Lapham was arrested by an officer of the Hampton Police Department for aggravated driving while intoxicated. Mr. Lapham entered a guilty plea to the charge on November 13th, 2018. Mr. Lapham's sentence included a loss of license, fine, and time to be served at the Rockingham County Jail. On August 17th, 2018, Brian Warburton's daughter, Katie Warburton, was arrested for domestic violence assault by officer of the Hampton Police Department. The matter of State v. Katie Warburton has not been adjudicated at this time. Both of these arrests were brought to my attention by the Hampton Police Department Prosecutor Sergeant Reno due to the potential conflicts of interest. I determined as Chief of Police that conflicts of interest did exist due to Mr. Lapham being a member of the Budget Committee and Ms. Warburton's father, Brian Warburton, also being a member of the Budget Committee. Based upon the obvious conflict, conflict of interest in both cases, we requested the Rockingham County Attorney's Office take over the prosecution of both of these cases. The Rockingham County Attorney's Office agreed to take jurisdiction of both cases and brought the Lapham case to a conclusion and continues to prosecute the ongoing Warburton case. I am astonished neither Mr. Lapham or Warburton has spoken of these issues at any time. This lack of transparency, transparency certainly could lead the public to question whether Mr. Lapham or Mr. Warburton are conducting themselves in an ethical manner as members of the Budget Committee. If you have any need of further discussion on these issues, please contact me at your earliest convenience. Best regards, Richard E. Sawyer, Chief of Police. All right. Any other questions? Thank you. Well, I'm glad I, I mean, I'm glad I asked a question because I... No, I understand your concern, but I, I weighed those things. Uh, and I did not feel that it was necessary to um, consult with a manager or an attorney on that. They're just simply a statement of public facts. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Anything else? Thank you, Chief. Thank you.